Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vidya. I'm a travel vlogger, and today is my last day in Uti. I'll be checking out from this hotel in some time. And today's plan is to visit uh, tourist places within Uti city. Um, I'm not venturing too far because uh, I have a bus at eight o'clock. I don't want to go too far and miss my bus. And today I'll be covering these places on my own. I have not taken any package because I've spent too much in last two days. So these places are quite uh, close to my hotel, and it is within the city. So I can uh, take public transport or autos and manage it on my own. So yeah, I'm starting now. First, I'm going to Saint Stephen's Church. It was established in 1830. I don't think photography will be allowed inside. Let's see. This church was just a kilometer away from my hotel. Located on the road to Mysore in Uti, it's one of the oldest churches in the Nilgiris. The structure dates back to 19th century. and was built by the british government the church is an architectural marvel built in the colonial times next i am going to a botanical garden which is quite close to my hotel i think it's just 500 meters morning finding breakfast was bit of a struggle even at 9:30 most of the shops and uh, hotels were closed maybe because it's sunday uh, luckily one mess was open ticket is for 50 rupees uh, there is no separate charge for camera this garden was laid out in 1848 spread over an area of 55 acres the government botanical garden is one of the tourist attractions in oti since it's sunday the place is really crowded every year flower show is held here as a part of summer festival in uti the botanical garden is divided into six sections namely lower garden new garden italian garden and then there is conservatory fountain terrace and nursery which contains a series of glass houses the garden is well maintained it's a wonderful place to relax and hang out with friends and family you can click pictures roll on the grass or sit under the tree The garden has a terraced layout. So, I'm done with the garden. Next, I'll go to either Doda Betta or Uti Lake, whichever is close by. After that I'll go for lunch. Sharing milega? Sharing hai bro. Individually she dropping 400 rupees the board government ka board hai. For doda beta. Sharing nahi hai? Sharing nahi. Eh uh, return coming waiting you return coming. Return yeah which is done. Uh here only. 
फॉर एट हंड्रेड रुपीज टी फैक्ट्री चाकर पति टी गार्डन मैक्स मिशन उन्होंने ट्रिप नहीं करना है ऑन द वे मैडम ऑन द वे ड्राइविंग फॉर हंड्रेड नो बैक कमिंग वेट Since I just wanted to visit Duda Betta, I didn't take this ride. In case you are interested, you will find these autos outside the garden. No, no. Okay. Badam fruit. Bro. Badam fruit. Ah. How much? Each one twenty rupees. Kilo two rupees. Each twenty rupees. Ah. This one one, one piece, piece is one piece twenty rupees. Ah, yes. One piece. On the way I stopped at Moody's bought some chocolates from this place Then I went for lunch After that I went to Toda Betta There are buses available to Toda Betta Peak But then I didn't go by bus I went by bike Hotel owner's son offered a ride to this place It is around 10 kilometers from Uti on the Uti Kotagiri road in the Nilgiri district There is a reserved forest area around the peak Dodda Betta is the highest mountain in the Nilgiri mountains at 2637 meters. The name Dodda Betta literally means big mountain. It is at the junction of Western and Eastern Ghats and offers beautiful view of Nilgiri hills. On top of the peak there's a telescope house from where you can observe the skyline of Uti and forests of Bandipur National Park. So just like Kodanadu view point there's a telescope house here. Since it's weekend it's really crowded. shopping i bought chocolates fudge tea by the way you will get uh, chocolate tea also over here so right now i'm going back to my hotel i left my luggage at the reception i'll collect my luggage and i'll have something my bus is at 8:30 uh i don't think i'll be having dinner i'm not that hungry but i'll have something that's it for today guys i'm ending my vlog here if you like my content don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next destination till then peace